Hey guys, what is going on? I am here to react to the pitch meeting for Home Sweet Home Alone. I have never heard of this film ever. I didn't know that this was a film that existed. No one talked about it, but once people started talking about it, I saw the pitch meeting for it and I was like, let's react to it. And of course, if you guys do not know on my channel, last year I reacted to all three Home Alones that pitch meeting put out. And I'm not gonna lie, after the second one, I really didn't care to go on because if you're not gonna have the original cast in the film, there's no point of watching it. And also, if you guys know my feelings on sequels, you know, even watching the second one, I really didn't care about, but Macaulay Culkin was in it and the villains from the first one. So I was like, all right, if anything, it's still gonna stick with what I'm already familiar with. Third one literally had no one in it from the original, so I was like, this is stupid, but I was gonna watch it anyway. And then after that, I was just like, I'm done with it. But this film comes out, no one from the original. Well. There is one, but I didn't care to watch it and I was shocked that this film even existed. So I was like, you know what? Let's watch it. Let's see what the heck, what, at worst I can find something to laugh at. Also, if you guys do not know, I and On My Mind Entertainment are collabing every, every Friday leading up to the 24th. We will be sharing our top four Christmas films we like to watch during the holiday season while the other person that is a guest on the channel discusses why their list is not the best. You can find On My Mind Entertainment's information in the description bar below, as well as if you stick to the end of the video, you'll see his his photo. You can click and subscribe. It's a, it's a great time every Friday. I've been enjoying it, actually. It's my first collaboration, so I've been having a really fun time. But with that being said, let's hop into this pitch meeting. Hello. Didn't see you there. Just enjoying a delicious hot cup of coffee from my own coffee store. Oh yes, Fresh Coffee Bean Company, which is also the sponsor for today's video. My online coffee store delivering amazing coffee to your front door within a week, created for artists by artists to keep them motivated and caffeinated without leaving their workspace. Also, don't forget to sign up to our email list to receive our weekly newsletter that goes out every Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where we showcase different coffee that we have in the store, as well as spotlight a local artist that I encounter on an everyday basis. It's an awesome community that's ever growing. You can also sign up and find out how you can be the next spotlight in future newsletters. Also, this awesome coffee mug, you see it? You see it? Well, I have other awesome mugs as well that we sell in the store, as well as different ways you can make coffee at home. All the information that I discuss will be linked in the description bar below, so do check it out. As well as, don't forget to take advantage of the 10% off of your first purchase after you sign up to our email list. Yikes. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So I figure since Disney now owns the rights to Home Alone, we could do a Home Alone movie. Oh, yeah, maybe Home Alone movie number six will be a winner. It might be. So is this like a sequel or a remake or a reboot? Oh, it's something. I'm almost sure of it. Fantastic. So tell me about this bad boy. Right, so we're going to meet this couple, Pam and Jeff, right? And they're the home intruders in this movie. Oh, boy. So they're going to get messed up by a bunch of homemade traps in the third act, huh? They sure are, sir. So Pam and Jeff are going through through some rough times financially, right? Oh. Yeah, Jeff can't find a job, so they have no choice but to sell their home, and they don't want to tell their kids because they'd be heartbroken. These are the wet bandits of this version? That's right. Oh feel kind of bad for them. It's a rough situation, you know, plus it's happening at Christmas time. I don't really want anything bad to happen to Pam and Jeff. Oh, but it's gonna. Oh, no. And so they find out that this rare doll they own is actually worth $200,000. Oh, fantastic. But then it seems like this really rude kid that stopped by their open house to pee in their toilet may have stolen it. And this kid is the Kevin McAllister type character? He is, yeah. His name is Max, and he's really rude to Jeff, makes fun of him, makes fun of the dolls. Just, just real nasty nasty all around. Huh. So anyway, this kid's whole family's going on a trip to Japan for the holidays, and he hates them. They're super annoying to him. Are they all super mean with him and whatnot? Not particularly, no. He just finds them annoying. Okay. So to get a little quiet time, he goes into the family car. <laughs> uh, okay, actually, I'm gonna stop you there. That seems like a missed opportunity. Oh, uh, sorry. He goes into their beautiful BMW. <laughs> the pinnacle of comfort, complete with top-of-the-line rear seat entertainment system. Perfect for kids. Okay, there you go. That sounds a lot more money great oh god that is so funny 
Thank God I didn't see this film. So anyway, then there's a bunch of chaos and his family leaves him behind accidentally. Er, uh, whoops. Whoopsie. So he has fun being alone for a little while, but then he gets kind of bored of it and he misses his family. Oh, so he's like, his story arc is already done. Pretty much, yeah. So now we can go focus on Pam and Jeff some more. Right, I hope things work out for them. They're gonna get so injured, my guy. Oh no. <laughs> so then they get an offer on the house, but these people want to sign before the new year. So they need to find this doll or they have to take the offer. Because of the financial troubles. Yeah, man, this poor family. They're gonna endure a lot of physical pain later. I don't want that to happen. So Jeff overhears this family security code and then he manages to convince Pam that they should just go into the house and take the doll and be on their way. Okay. But then once they're inside the house, Max thinks they want to kidnap him and sell him. Why does he think that? Well, because see, while they're in the house, they refer to the doll as the ugly little boy and they call it him instead of it. Oh, a very unnatural way of speaking. Yeah, super unnatural, but this way the movie can happen. Well, we do want, it would be ideal if the movie happened. Yeah, and then also they hear this digital home assistant speaking German, so they're like, oh, this kid has a grandmother home with him. Oh, okay. And then a police officer shows up because Jeff misremembered the security code and it's Buzz McAllister. He's from the first movie. Yeah, he is. And the and he looks awful. I mean, we all have to pay our bills, but jeez. Whew. Yikes. And the second movie. I think so. And the third movie. No, it wasn't in that one, I don't think. The fourth movie. Yes, but played by a different actor. Still pretty cool. The fifth movie. No. The sixth one. That's this movie. He's from this movie. He sure is, sir. Oh, being from this movie is tight. Yeah, okay. Anyway, then Pam insinuates that she'll have intercourse with him, so he lets them go. Oh, my God. And so the next day at church, Max shows up because he wants to take some toys that are intended for the less fortunate. This kid is awful, and I don't like him. And Pam and Jeff see him talking to this old lady so they're like, oh, that's the grandmother. Oh, so they go up to her and explain the situation? Well, no, because remember, they think she speaks German. So they stick with the breaking and entering plan. Just because she speaks German doesn't mean she can't also speak English. Listen, sir, I don't know what to tell you. The movie's got to happen somehow. Oh, oh my gosh. I, you know what? Just in, yeah. mm. keeping my sanity is always good. Like when you're the viewer of a film and you see things that can literally be resolved in like 2.5 seconds just from asking a question and then people don't do that in order for a film to go on at least for me i start to lose a little bit of brain cells because it's like i know this is a film that they're putting out there for kids it's a disney film that's probably another reason why i haven't heard of the film but at the same time there was a disney trailer that i saw which i really wish i did not see and I will be talking about it soon. But you, when you ask certain questions, the things that should make a lot more sense, things start to fall apart. But then like when you realize that they're catering to kids, it even makes it worse. Like kids are dumb, but they're not that, well, pff, take it back. Kids are dumb, dumb as hell. This film, just from the pitch meeting, is making me hate everything about films that are coming out nowadays. <laughs> like they're missing the mark completely, especially if you're trying to carry on the name of Home Alone at least get the fundamentals right. You miss those, then your film's gonna fall apart and it sounds stupid. Sir, I don't know what to tell you. The movie's gotta happen somehow. All right, I guess. So then Max prepares his house with a bunch of booby traps because that's a major part of this IP. Sure, of course. And he ices up the whole street so Pam and Jeff crash their car into a street light. And that doesn't alert any neighbors? It doesn't, no. So then Max starts throwing a bunch of Diet Coke and Mentos at Pam. So she's like, ah, please stop. Don't do this. Oh, she's like, she's communicating with him. Yeah, they're like talking back and forth. It's pretty funny. So does she ask him about the doll? Well, no, because if they mention the doll that'll resolve the whole conflict so they're just gonna kind of say stuff like hey we just want to talk here okay right well i guess we got to stretch this out as much as possible to fit all the slapstick gags in there exactly and we've got a ton of those for example jeff farts in his wife's face all right Gas from his lower intestine shoots into her nostrils. I know what a fart is. Me too. So then Max is going to shoot a pool ball right in Jeff's face and knock him unconscious. Oh my, this guy is just trying not to lose his house. Yeah, his dire financial situation has forced him into this desperate position and he just wants his family to be okay. Exactly. And now he's going to get the crap kicked out of him for it. That's not, this isn't fun. So then while Jeff is unconscious because of the head trauma, Max slips a VR headset onto his face. Oh. So then when Jeff comes to, he sees himself and the 
Santa outfit he's wearing on the edge of a big cliff. That's not how VR works. It might be. It's not. So then Jeff and Pam are going to continue to get injured for an extended period of time. Is it going to be hard for them to get Max to stop assaulting them? Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, once we kind of run through the list of booby traps, then they'll mention the doll. Right, of course, the solution that was just a couple of words away this entire time. Yeah, and it turns out Max didn't even steal the doll. He just took a soda can. It was all just a big misunderstanding. All right. And Pam is like, wow, Max, if we knew you were home by yourself, we never would have broken in. So wait, they only broke in because they thought there was also an old lady there? That seems to be the implication, yeah. Huh. So then it turns out Jeff's nephew had stolen the doll, so they're able to sell it, which solves every problem they've ever had. And what happens with, like, Max's house? I imagine it's pretty destroyed. Yeah, the doll covered all that, too. And now the two families come together and have Christmas together, and they're friends now, and they're not even hanging out with their own families anymore. Sure, that may as well happen. It's gonna, so what do you think? Well, on the one hand, I think by making the villain sympathetic, it kind of undoes the whole premise and makes it a lot less fun. Oh. But I think if we could get a Macaulay Culkin cameo, that could elevate the whole project. You think he'd do that? I don't see why not. Whew. Good for him, because he probably saw the script and was like, fuck all this jazz. This film sounds horrible. Um, good for him. I don't think I'd ever say that about Macaulay Culkin ever, but good for him. I'm not gonna lie, there really wasn't much for me to say because like this film sounded just as bad as I assumed it would be, being the sixth Home Alone film. So there really wasn't much for me to say. This is probably the quietest you'll ever see me in a video. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you really like it, definitely subscribe. Let me know in the comments below, have you seen the film or do you plan on seeing the film? Where in the franchise did you stop? Or did you watch all of the Home Alones and you just thought they were all great? Also, which one of the Home Alones were your favorite? And of course, if you say the first one, that's an obvious because it is a classic. But I'm just gonna be intrigued to see, you know, out of the six, which one are people's favorites? Cause somebody might not think the first one is the best. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be very intrigued to read what you guys think. Also, don't forget to swing on over to my Patreon to find out how to become a patron today. If you love film content like the video that you just got done watching, then you will love the community that I'm building. I like to share film content, or at least more film content, and also some exclusive content that will only be found on this platform. Link in the description bar below to find out more about that. And thank you so much in advance. And now on with the rest of the video. Again, I and On My Mind Entertainment are collabing. Information about his channel will be linked in the description bar below. As videos are coming out every Friday leading up to the 24th where we talk about our top favorite Christmas film we like to watch during the holiday season. It's a great time. Also, if you guys have been enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're always notified about the new videos that I have coming out. I love this this world that I'm creating. I've been drinking a latte. Uh, I had to take a break from it because I forgot to tell the barista that I want oat milk. So I've been drinking whole milk and it has not been sitting well with my system. So you guys enjoy these videos. You know what to do. That was information you guys did not ask for, but I felt the need to talk about it because it's real. I'm dealing with it right now. And I'll see you all in the next video.